Hello, welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take all the cladding off, take the frunk or fruit out, which needs uh, six bolts, six 10 millimeter bolts, and what is actually under all of this cladding, and also where the service interlock is, which uh, disables the high voltage battery. As you can see, the frunk has no bolts in the bottom like an EV6 has. So it's got a slightly different setup. Right, so I'm going to use a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket to access the frunk. Uh, but this is how you get the cladding off. Basically, you remove the left hand side first and then the right hand side. And you can leave the battery cover on. Also, notice uh, if in an emergency, fireman access is also indicated on this because this is where the service interlock is. So you can, they can isolate the traction battery. So I'm starting with, trying to do this one handed. Yeah, they all unclip. Two handed is better. That's half of it off. And then the second half, pull up. And broken one, great. That's just the clip gone flying somewhere. Then you can see down the side of the engine. That's where the battery coolant reservoir is. Uh, windscreen washers. And you've got six 10 millimeter bolts for the frunk or fruit. which I'll undo now. I'm just slacking the first. And then they're just, just hand tight now, so I can just whiz them out. I'll stick the bolts in the bottom of the frunk. Three left. There is no light built into this front like the EV6, so you don't have to undo any wiring. So once I've got all six bolts out, you can just lift it out. There we go. And now we can see the whole engine compartment. Orange wires are high voltage. Service interlock is that there. And there is a diagram 
um, for fire instructions on the Kia UK website, which says snip that, which is uh, instead of having it in the fuse box, which the EV6 had. So, see, there's no service interlock in there. And so what can you see? <clears throat> various components, various motors. Um, that is the engine inverter. And that sits the top of the dreaded ICCU. So if you just poke through there and look down, you can see it. The also giveaway is it's got a, a coolant loop going in and out. So that is how it looks inside the engine. I also show you an image of what it's like outside the engine. Then you've got various coolant pipes. If I had a heat pump, you'd probably be able to tell the difference because it's got more pipes. Uh, but since I've never seen the heat pump version with the lid off like this, um, I don't know. Uh, Battery is a usual rocket standard battery, but 60 amp hours. Um, for some reason, it looks taller in this. I don't know if it really is. Um, the EB6 had a pull-out tray, so you could change the climate air filter. Now, this having a thinning HVAC system, that's all changed, so it might well be inside, but I can't see any entrance around here. Just more pipes. There's another little reservoir there, is there? I don't know what that is though. Um, brake reservoirs there. And that is a sub reservoir. I don't know what that's for. Having a clue. If anyone's got any idea, let me know in the comments. You've also got um, a radiator and a fan which comes on quite a lot whilst you're charging or using vehicle to load and you've got a cover on the bottom so uh, that clip that came off of the cover is probably down there somewhere I've got to find it so if you do lose one of the white clip things of which is there then trace back to where it would line up and then follow it down to where it's probably fallen and it's actually fallen down there. So I've got to fish that out. Uh, that is the clip of the cover, which was a pig to get from down on the bottom engine cover uh, to use this kind of stick and a coat hanger and all kinds of things to get it. So if you do take these off, <laughs> be more careful. So that should just go back on the top cover. So like that. Uh, put the front back. line up the holes and it's just the reverse of what you just did I'll put one in each corner that might make it line up easier
and hand tighten. And then just lock them back up. That fronts back in, and then it's placed the right hand side and the left hand side, and they all connect into these push stud things there. Left hand, right hand side. Line up the holes. So it's roughly there. So that's going to go on there. That's going to connect with that and then push down. Just double checked. Everything's flattened down. And that's it. Anyway, that's what's under the bonnet and how to take the frunk out. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.